Hey, and welcome back to Hoosier Helpers. Today we're going to be demonstrating the hydraulic top link and some of the advantages of having hydraulic top link over the mechanical. So stay tuned. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get the box blade set up in what I call the neutral position. It's kind of where it's flat and uh, setting right above the skids. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So on my bad boy box blade, they have these, these uh, basic skids on it. And I know some of the other manufacturers say, well, why do you need the skids and all that? Well, the point is, is the cutting blade is actually about a half inch lower than this. And I think the intent is you're never going to really cut more than a half an inch or you shouldn't want to cut over a half an inch just because the horsepower of these tractors won't pull it. If you're cutting, you know, an inch, two inches, it won't pull it and you'll end up with a lot of uneven ground. Right now I got it basically setting so that it is setting flat and uh, I can lower it down and we're going to be pretty much neutral. All right. That being said, you can see the cutting edge isn't fully on the ground because it's kind of a hole there. But we're going to start cutting and we'll adjust as needed the angle of the box plate using the hydraulic top plate. It's going to be in four wheel drive, low, and partial throttle is fine for what we're doing here. So we're cutting pretty good. We're filling. Make sure we're all the way down, but we're not cutting extremely well. So let's put a little more positive engagement, drop it down. There, we're cutting pretty good. start filling in over here because I kind of got a low hole. I'm just going to be raising up. And I'm fully done. And you can see in the video there how flat this box blade will cut because of those skids. There's no gouging. It was essentially just cutting the high humps off on that first pass. Now we're going to go back over that same pass and we're going to try to actually cut our depth. get out and adjust it. And if you got a mechanical top link, you're going to be out there adjusting it until you get it perfect where it's decided it's going to go ahead and cut. Now I haven't changed the hydraulic top link at all on this pass and we're doing a good job of cutting. Cutting about probably a half inch. And we're piling up. So I got this thing set up from the seat, not having to get out and tweak it. But we're really cutting and filling. I'm loading the tractor up, it's starting to spin out a little bit. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna just tip back. We're gonna be dumping out and spreading at this point. Just by changing the angle. 
box plate. Now I'm going to go ahead and dump it. And we're going to show one other feature of hydraulic top link. The ability to push backwards. Now, with a mechanical, when you're going backward, you need to adjust it the other direction in order to uh, get that rear blade to cut. With the hydraulic, we can do it just by the seat, from the seat. So, once I'm going to get this cleared out and get a little closer to the camera so you can see it good, we'll uh, show you adjusting it for a cut. going into a cut now. You can see it's really cutting. It's loading the tractor up. And I did that just by adjusting the top link just a little bit. Now I'm going to pick up and we're going to go over the pile. Drop down. And I'm going to spread this back out. So one of the other things about having a hydraulic top link that's not maybe as, uh, as known as other things are when you're loading on a trailer. And I'm going to demonstrate that, probably not with the box blade, but I'll, I'll do it with the tiller here in a little bit. But this box blade in particular sticks way back, especially compared to my tiller. So if I had it set in like this when I went to load in a trailer, I would most likely be gouging dirt as I went up the ramps. And I've done it multiple times, dug dirt. What you can do simply by pulling the lever here is I can essentially raise that up another six inches to give me six more inches of clearance when I'm going up a ramp. And that six inches is really all it needs. Actually, I can go up a little bit more here. That's all I really need to get on the trailer without gouging. And that's pretty important when I'm going into a homeowner's property to do something. I don't want to tear up the lawn any more than I have to. And being able to, uh, you know, bring this on up, it's a huge benefit. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hoosier Helpers. I know it was a fairly short one. There's many other applications of hydraulic top links from anywhere from uh, adjusting weight bo ballast boxes either to be closer to the tractor or further away. I also uh, have used it with a rear blade and being able to tip that blade at a different angle and also when you set the blade at an angle by tipping it down you actually create different engagement opportunities for that angle. So I really like the hydraulic top link. It's not necessary for everybody but it does a, a nice job for what I need it for. So like I said, hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.